welcome to Corn Dog Caravan. I'm Ray, and you're watching the Corn Dog Caravan channel. My wife, Chris, and I decided there's more to life than working and doing house projects. So we sold everything we own, built out a Ram ProMaster we call Lotus, because others think it's stupid, and are traveling full-time seeing friends, family, and exploring the beautiful country around us along with our two Boston Terriers. Today's video, I'm installing our two Max Air 7500s in both the front and rear locations. The model really doesn't matter as the exterior install is the same. The front spot is designed for the 14-inch square mount without an adapter, but the rear mount, I'm using the adapter I purchased from impact3d.com. The steps are easy, but cutting a hole in your roof can be intimidating. Before you begin, watch the weather. First, locate where you plan to mount the fan and use the mounting flange to draw your cut line. Second, Move the flange and drill a pilot hole with a drill bit meant for metal, with a diameter big enough to allow your jigsaw bit to fit inside the hole. Next, mask off the metal on the outside perimeter to prevent scratching the paint. I also taped the bottom of the plate of my saw for added security. Be sure to pick up any metal bits with a magnet, vacuum, or towel, or all three, as any left will rust into the paint. I recommend taping a trash bag inside to catch all the metal filings and tape a magnet to the center outside of the bag to make cleanup easier. I'm skipping showing the process of me cutting the hole as you've probably seen plenty of these. Now that my hole is cut and the edge is filed, removing any burrs, I'm brushing my primer coat and my paint to the exposed metal. Once dry, the front mounting flange is secured with black butyl tape and the 16 sheet metal screws included in the package. I made my own inner trim ring out of Baltic birch and used two three-quarter inch thick pieces glued together that made a great bite to the mounting flange as well as a support for the inner roof material and my fan trim ring. Pre-drill the metal to make it easier to mount the screws and trim away any butyl tape that squeezes out of the flange. Almost finished. Now I'm running a thick continuous bead of Dicor self-leveling sealant that is available in a host of colors including silver that matches my van color well. Be sure to apply enough to cover the screw heads, the top edge of the flan, and enough that flows over the edge to the paint to provide a watertight seal. Next, place the fan assembly onto the flange and secure with four of the three quarter inch number 10 stainless steel screws. Be sure the hinge is located at the front. Remove the outer protective skin and test for leaks. When using a fan adapter, follow the instructions provided. I didn't record any of the interior trim install or wiring, but I ran both of mine on one circuit using Ancor 12 gauge stranded wire and fused properly. Thanks for staying to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know if it was helpful. Also, please comment below if you have any questions about the van build or suggestions about the future content as we build at this channel. Follow us along our journey on Facebook or Instagram using Corn Dog Caravan. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and tell your friends about our channel.